The Apostle Paul stated 2,000 years ago in 1 Timothy 2, verse 7, the following, Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. And now, as we know, the term Gentile is defined as either a Roman citizen, a pagan, or both. For as we also know, all Romans were in fact pagans, but not all pagans were Romans. As students of prophecy, we also know that today all churches, be they Christian or not, are right now wandering after the beast system in Rome, exactly as prophesied in Revelation 13, verse 3 and 4. And for those of you seeking additional proof on this, see prophecy number 18 on my Characteristics of Antichrist page when you get time. Now that all the churches are following the lead of the prophesied man of sin in Rome, and this includes the Seventh-day Adventist Church now, all of them have become Gentiles in spirit, due to Rome's ecumenical agenda, their Sunday worship on the pagan's day of the sun, as well as the many pagan holidays like Christmas and Easter, as well as Vatican dogma like the Trinity, uh, eternal life and hellfire, or a secret rapture, just to name a few. All these pagan fruits confirm, hands down, that exactly as prophesied, all the churches are now in bed with Rome. This is why there is a movement today that claims Paul was a false apostle. Rome is doing all they can to lure people away from Paul's message because what he preached back then to the Gentiles is something that is clearly needed to be heard today since all the churches are in fact Roman Catholic or Gentile in theology, just as prophecy predicted they would be today. And so it's fitting that Satan would send prelates from Rome to go forth over all the world declaring Paul a false apostle because not only did he write most of the New Testament Bible that angered every pope in history, including in modern times, to the point that they have literally tried to rewrite the Bible many times just to hide the truth about them. Paul's inspired message exposes all the Roman Catholic fruits and dogmatic statements in all denominations today, including the Seventh-day Adventist Church, wherein their very own president declared in writing back in 1981 that there is another universal and truly Catholic organization, the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Thank you for watching. God bless.